Het Imagelist of Montreal presents a visit to the temple of Tandara of Temple of Atat. Passing further into the rest of the temple, which is built by the Ptolemies, we find the inner hypostyle hall. Also, it is known as the Hall of Appearance. It has six Hathor columns. On either side, the door opens into three chambers, which were used as preparation areas for various aspects of the daily rituals. The inner hypostyle hall leads to the sanctuary. It is the holy of the holiest. The walls are carved with scenes of royal ceremonial. But notice the blank cartouches which define the name of the king. This reveals much about the political instability of the Ptolemaic times. The stone masons were reluctant to carve the names of the kings who might not be in the job for a very long time. One of the side rooms of the sanctuary is the Bark Shrine, where we find solar barks depicted on the walls with the god's head. This is the head of the god Hathor with the sun disk and the cow's horn. Every year they used to bring the sacred solar barks of Horus and Hathor to make a feast which took two or three weeks for the beautiful meeting, then they take back the bark of Horus to his temple. The shrine of Osiris is found in one of the side rooms of the sanctuary, where the myth of Osiris is depicted on the wall. Here we see the mutilated body of Osiris, who was killed by his jealous brother Seth. The body is laying on his funerary bier. In front of the body to the right we can see Isis and to the left her sister Nephthys. Both were praying and using their magic power to restore Osiris back to life. Now Osiris raised his hand and he was resurrected and we can see Isis and Nephthys kneeling to thank the gods for the resurrection of Osiris. Then Osiris was crowned as a king of the dead and the hunter world. Here we can see him crowned. Later Isis was conceived the son Horus. Horus was raised to avenge his father and he defeated and killed his uncle Seth. Here we see Horus standing on a hippo. The hippo is a symbol of his bad uncle Seth. And Horus is victorious and he took revenge of his father Osiris. In the center room of the northeastern suite is the famous Dandara Zodiac, or at least the plaster cast made during the Napoleon campaign in Egypt. In 1820, the original was removed to the Louvre in Paris. The Egyptologists have dated this relief to the year 50 before Christ. It is considered as the only complete map that we have of an ancient sky. We can see that we have 12 figures for the 12 months of the year. Each figure has two hands. This will make 24 hands for the 24 hours of the day. Also, we can see zodiac sign for the Libra, 
for the lion and for the goat. The crypts are suites of rooms used as a storage for valuable items like golden statues and divine icons. The rooms were decorated before the roof blocks were set. The crypts of Hathor Temple are nicely decorated in reliefs. In this temple, there are 14 crypts. Access was gained behind hidden sliding wall blocks, like this one. This is the entrance to the crypt I visited. One of the important reliefs in the crypt I visited is the sistrum. The sistrum is a musical instrument used in ancient Egypt for the worship of the goddess Hathor and the goddess Pastet. It is still used till now in the Coptic Egyptian church. Its name derives from the Greek word Sistra, and it means that which is being shaken. Its name in hieroglyph is Shech Shecha. This word is still used till now in the Egyptian dialect and was modified to Shokshikh. Here we can see the pharaoh followed by Ihihar Samtawi, the son of Hatur, this is Hatur, and her husband Horus. In another interesting relief we can see the goddess Hathor wearing the crown of justice with her son Ihi Harsamtawi holding her sister. In this relief you find a lotus flower in the shape of a boat with a snake emerging from it. In front of Horus depicted as a falcon with beautiful detailed feather with the sun disk of Ra and the crown of Cleopatra. The ceiling is carved with very nice stuff. This relief shows two lotus flowers and a digit pillar. The lotus flower is in the form of a light bulb. And at its end there is a screw. It looks like a modern light bulb with a screw. The digit pillar is a symbolic backbone of the god Osiris and a symbol of stability. The Egyptologists argue that it is a representation of an ancient Egyptian light bulb. However, it has not yet been proven. But who knows? Here we see the screw of the light bulb and here the digit pillar to the right the pharaoh and to the left the goddess Hathor and to the left of it the pharaoh in this relief you see the necklace of the goddess Hathor And here her son Ihi Harsamtawi with her sister. In this relief we see Horus and his wife Hathor with the crown of Cleopatra. This relief shows the goddess Nu, goddess of the skies, holding the skies with her two hands. This relief shows Ihihar Samtawi suckling from his mother, the goddess Hathor. Here Ihihar Samtawi 
with her sestra. Notice the face of the goddess Hathor depicted on the sestra. Behind the Ehi, the pharaoh putting his finger in his mouth to show that he is adolescent. At the end of my visit, the guide showed me the relief of the holy family in its original color. It was very beautiful.